This is Gordon Pepper, and welcome to this UBA tour stop. We are in the New England District, New England District North. This is tour stop number 12, and we have two teams that are playing with two very different goals in mind. I'm here with Sean Knight Faison, a.k.a. P1, a.k.a. your former Northeast Cruiserweight champion, hey. who's got the itch to maybe coming back into it. How are you doing, sir? Feeling good. Voice of Choice is here, right here, New England Northeast, and we are here with a double dose not only of Caffeine and of YouTube, but of Identity Crisis, who earlier... Um, Had an Identity Crisis. Yes, they did, uh, against the the heroes of the day, House Shot Heroes. And they are looking to rectify whatever loss they feel that they suffered and know they numerically suffered to House Shot Heroes. This is what I am, and it's going to take a lot of heart. And um, they're going to have to find their pulse and find it quick. Well, for, for you to say Identity Crisis is going to be taking 14 points from a team that ran over their opponents in the first round could be more heart than brains. Well, well, speaking of heart, um, uh, we're starting on the scratch pair, uh, a spare piece for each pair. Now, who do we have on each pair? We will definitely let you know who we have on each pair. So I'm looking to see if we have the same lineup on Identity Crisis as we had before. Now, the lineup was Jonathan Hester, Christopher Hansen, and Zachary Thompson. It looks like they may have shuffled their lineup a little bit, especially on the other sides, once we get it. And I'm waiting for the tour stop manager to give us the lanes. Once we have those assignments, we'll explain them to you, and then we'll give them out. Mott Nation right now looking good on where they started off. The key may be the scratch, because Mott Nation ran over their opponents the first time around, Ooh. and Identity Crisis came close on their first time around. The problem that Identity Crisis had their first tour stop, the, their first tour stop early on today, the handicap. First game, they got blown up by over 400 pins. They cannot let that happen against Mop Nation. If they do, this match it may end just as quickly as the first one did. Well, right now it seems that um, we have uh, strike, strike, spare. Well, spare, strike, strike on the scratch pair for Identity Crisis. And right now, Mop Nation Militia, um, it's looking like they're going to have spare, strike, spare. <laughs> so we, the unique situation here is that we are dealing with re-oil. Back ends were flipping rather aggressive earlier. And with re-oil, and I'm not going to assume that there was a strip, that you are going to see uh, a lot of playing up, down and in, squaring up. A lot of pocket control. Once you control the pocket, you can definitely guarantee um, at least nine, eight if it's uh, cataclysmic. Down and in, as Gordon loves, is going to be the name of the game, especially with it being erratic middles. And um, the rights will definitely tell you exactly what's going to happen. And up the right. And exactly what I was saying before, going down and then attacking from the right, uh, nine spare strike for the first bowler right there for Identity Crisis. Uh, so, so Hester right there, Hester with the strike, leading off. Well, not leading off the first frame, but he is the leadoff bowler. That is frame two on lane 16. That looks like Sean Hagen up, the shredder. And shredder living up to his name, shredding up the pocket right there, starting off with a double right there. Strike on lane 15, strike on lane 16 for Hagen. Shout out to everybody watching here on this April 13th, Saturday here in New England Northeast here at Bolero Chicopee. And right there, the anchor bowler right there from Mop Nation Militia from the left side, spare strike. So we have a double in the middle for Mop Nation Militia scratch pair, spare strike up top, spare strike up bottom. Let's see if we can get a double up right here from the anchor bowler right here. And that is a double right there for Shalafo, David Shalafo. Mop Nation Militia 
definitely doing their thing earlier. Identity crisis, though, they're trying to rectify whatever happened, and they are starting like they have something to say. They have something to say, and they need to say it, say it loud and say it proud, because right now they are down um, 34 points. They lost 34 earlier. They're trying to get that back. They're trying to get a refund, and then some. And that is exactly where that re-oil definitely it definitely comes out comes into play leaving at 245 ball laboring but not doing the job we have Hagen up and Hagen out Hagen right there starting with three so for our identity identity crisis is scratch pair what you are viewing right now as you saw earlier it was Jonathan Hester and you saw earlier on handicap before now on the scratch Sean Hagen and also who you saw on handicap was David Chalafo for the scratch pair for Mop Nation Militia, leading off Tony Bennett, and we have Jesse Cote Jr., and the anchor is Paul Smith. Scratch players need to do scratch things, and right now the scratch players on the side of Identity Crisis definitely doing scratch things, starting off the way they want to start. Hopefully they finish as well as they start. And right there, Jesse. Right there, the third frame was Jesse's girl right there. Three in a row, Jesse. That'll be doing his thing. Shot 802 earlier in his previous match. Which, oh, tickle in the pocket was Chalafoe. Chalafoe right now. Three for him. Three for Hagen. Double, spare and double for Jonathan Hester. Now up on lane 16, we have P.S. And P.S.'s letter did not get through. Paul Smith uh, tickle in the pocket, but the tickle didn't make the whole pocket laugh leaving the nine pin. So G Gordon coming back, I already got a chance to introduce our lineups. And I was saying that the real oil coming into play um, for, <clears throat> for the leadoff bowler being Tony Bennett, but not really, not really having trouble finding the pocket. It's all about getting through and fighting through what's there. Paul Smith looking to convert his nine pin should be no problem. A lefty attacking the right side of spare usually is not a problem. But you know what? Sometimes problems just show up when you think this is an easy solution. So basically, identity crisis is ABC, Mount Nation Militia, DEF. Mm -hmm. And on the scratch pair, at least, a very nice, strong start for identity crisis. But one of the things that we mentioned before is that you had this being closed in the first tour stop on the scratch side. The handicap side is where they ran into major issues. Mm -hmm. Looking at this right now, a little bit too early to figure out, except Mop Nation's gravity, I'm sorry, Identity Crisis has grabbed a very early lead on handicap two. Mm -hmm. So we see what happens over there. Meanwhile, they had eight in a row. Gordon shows up and we see a 10 pin. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Dark Cloud <laughs> says hello to everybody. That would be Jonathan Hester, who probably would prefer that I would be on lanes 51 and 52, which would equate to the parking lot. So right now, Jesse starting off with a Connect 4 situation. Four yes, frames, sir. four strikes for Mr. J.C. Jr. Jesse. Jesse's girl has been all strikes. Oh, uh -oh. and we have a wave. And Jonathan Hester has given us the first makeable open of this scratch pair. So, and again, if I am identity crisis, this is exactly how I need to start out. I need to start to come out firing. However, if I don't strike, I've got to make spares, especially, especially against a team like Mop Nation Militia that will not give you an opportunity mm -hmm. to calm down, that will not give you an opportunity to feel any sort of comfortable. If mm -hmm. you're going to make a mistake, you're going to pay for it. They're going to jump on you over it. Hagen looking to make up for that. Debacle that happened for, and he basically covers the loss of the spare uh, with four in a row himself. Well, That's, yes and no. He's they've got to cover another one, and yeah, they got to cover another one. Yeah, and that would be coming from Dave. Now, if you notice here, and I'm sure that you mentioned this, but I'll mention it. Mm -hmm. Identity Crisis, their third handicap squad is the same as what they did 
is what they did at the first matchup. This matchup, they switched people around. Yeah. As you said on the at the end of the broadcast, they kept Michael Puzo in. He was their sub that came out. Zach Thompson is in. Chris Hansen is still there. Ooh, Chalafo. Chalafo for the rope. And, and Chalfo, who needed a GPS in the first tour stop, mm has -hmm. got four in a row in this one. Yeah, things definitely and, looking up. Well, I'm sure one of the things that they are thinking about is where the heck was this game one, game one tour stop one? Yeah. You know, sometimes you got to get punched a couple times before you wake up. And um, they got hit in the mouth a lot. But um, in the words uh, in the movie Raging Bull, Robert De Niro aptly, aptly said, uh, you never knock me down, Ray. Hopefully um, they're not knocked down. They're down. But let's see if they're going to be out. And I don't think they're going to be out. Let's see what Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett singing a little song right there. I left my spare ball uh -huh. in my bag because I didn't need it. And, uh, ooh. and Jonathan's going to need his spare ball. He left the seven pin. Now, I was asking what the strategy was going to be this time around. And they said, well, let's not be down by 437 pins after game one. That's a good start. That is a great strategy. Everybody has a plan, though. Well, everybody has a plan, and right now, plan is now nobody, we're not going to see a pair of 300s unless it's on the scratch side. Three bullets right now, it's got the front four. One of them right now is the front five. Oh, look at Jesse out here. Walking it out, feeling Coach. good. Coach Junior feeling very comfortable out there. Yeah, yeah Jonathan felt comfortable Jonathan converting that seven pin. Well, he does, that's good. He's, he's two for three in converting single pin spares this game. His teammates need to be five for five in converting strikes if they want to hold on to a lead. Right now, they're up by 27 pins. Mop Nation obviously wanting to cut that into that or take the lead completely. Here's Paul Smith, first shot coming up, and that looks good. It is. Yeah, Smith likes it. So um, the one, well, um, perceived advantage is that Paul Smith is the only lefty on the pair, meaning he's all by himself. And what's wrong with being a lefty? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong with being a lefty. And most people will say it's not right either. It's not supposed to be right. It's left. It's supposed to be right. And that was all right five, from the right side. Five in a row for Hagen. Mm -hmm. Shelfu looking for five in a row on his own. If he can do that, then they'll hold on to a 17 pin lead because Mop Nation, six in a row. Mm -hmm. let's, see if, let's see if that number six sticks. So. I'm sticking with my prediction for a 26-14 um, in, in favor of Identity Crisis. I do not make predictions. I just commentate. Because well, I, I do enough things for people that, that take people off. Predicting who does what will be something else I do not want to add to my resume. <laughs> well, well, Shalfo Sha was definitely not ticked off um, with him carrying a lot of shots that he feels he sh probably should have carried in the earlier match. He did not throw the ball bad, per se. And that right there was a good, a gem of a tickle right there by Mr. Jonathan Hester. Jonathan Hester with the strike, except, and a big except here, looking at potential seven in a row by all three members of not Mop Nation Militia in terms of streaking. Obviously, they're not all on seven in a row since we're only in the sixth frame. Mm -hmm. Right now, the streak is six in a row, or six straight strikes. Yes. Tony Bennett looking for seven straight strikes. Fly me to the pocket. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Fly me to the pocket. Let me sing. Oh, anyway. Oh, Tony Bennett out here. Yeah, he's singing a good song. Living up to his namesake. Let's see if Hagen right now can. Oh, Hagen out here. Hagen has got six in a row. Hagen trying to strike like Fagan out here. Well, he's trying to. Coat right now is looking to emote six in a row for himself. Jesse? That ball looks good. It is. Uh, Jesse throws it great. The uh, last time we had Jesse on camera was um, during the playoffs last year in New England. He bowled really well. Yes, he did. He shot 802 earlier in the in, uh, in today. That's it. Yes, yeah, that's it. He that's only it. shot 802 oh, yeah, earlier. Yeah, should have been 803, right? Should have been. <laughs> Why not nine? Let's Why see not nine. nine? Nine would be fine, and that shot is a damn fine shot. Right well, that's six, six in a row by Shalfo. Smith is making to make it nine, but in a different way. That would be nine straight strikes from Mott Nation Militia members. See what the lefty does here. 
Lefty's got it, nine in a row. Well, yeah, the pins is about to file a lawsuit. Yeah, that seven, was a, seven assault and battery. Assault and battery. Seven pin lead for Identity Crisis going into the seventh frame. Now, they're moving right along in terms of strikes. The other handicap pair is a lot of strikes also by Mop Nation mm -hmm. and lanes 19 and 20. I don't know what's going on there. Mm. Well, I know but, what's yeah. potentially going on here. A tickling strike, gem of a strike. And uh, interesting surface choice. Um, choosing a dull surface, looking like a gem. And what well, happens with that? Yeah. That is one of the advantages of having a tour step beforehand. You can make adjustments based on yeah. what you saw and like or didn't yeah. like. Can't wait, to, can't wait to cover the other pairs after because I see a lot of potential things that could be happening <laughs> uh, in terms of my Nation Militia. Now, I'm still sticking with my prediction, but I also know their, their um, talent pool is deep. And let's see if this goes deep in the pocket. And no, it tickles. It's a light hit. That streak is over. His three in a row is over. Hmm. You have a double up by Hester, except more importantly, you've got two bullets behind him. And we've got the front six going in the seventh frame. Mob Nation fighting success with the light hit. Hang it up. And, and that hits way too light. 2 8 10. That streak is brutally over by H Hagen. And all of a sudden, that one pin spare looks a lot easier to make than Hagen's attempt. Speaking of going seven in a row, Coat is up. And if he does hit seven in a row, Mob Nation will take the lead on the scratch side. Not just because of the potential open, but what he left. And he will not, ooh, almost, oh, did not make the spare. Didn't really play hero ball there, got the wood. Wood is always good. Wood is always good, but that open opens the door. Mm. Cole coming up, looking for seven and taking the lead in the game. He does, buried. Oh, man. Buried shot by Jesse Coat. Well, get your coat. That shot was cold. Now one more strike by Paul Smith, and they will retain the lead. Keep on shell foe. In order for him to keep, keep the lead, that sounds me funny for saying this. Keeping the lead, he's got to stay perfect. And he does not. Eight pin, and all of a sudden, what started as a nice little bump for identity crisis, as the worm is turning, Mob Nation could have some problems here. Yeah, a little, I'm little. sorry, Mob Nation can take advantage of the problems that identity, identity crisis could have, I should say. Mm. Paul Smith up. Pins down. Smith liked that off the hand. He loved it off his hand. How's the left? <laughs> Obviously, you see it's looking great. It's looking great. Assuming that Shalfo makes a spare, and he does. It is Mop Nation up 20 and looking for more going into the eighth frame. Again, just a reiteration. Identity Crisis, who did not have a good first start. I mean, they're not going to lose by 437 pins, at least I don't think so, mm -hmm. going into here. But they still need to show up. And right now, they're trailing in two of the three games. And the lead that they do have is not exactly earth-shattering. Mm -hmm. No, it is not. Ten pin up there by Hester. And I'm starting to hear some yappy yap yap from the Mark Nation Militia Committee. Yeah, 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 they're chirping over here. Uh, I don't know who lit the birds in the building, but there's definitely some chirping going on. All right, well, let's see. Let's see who's going to spread their wings and fly away to a victory today. Uh, Identity Crisis definitely doesn't do not want to leave here with two losses. Well, not just losses. If if you go 16 and 16, you still take 32 points. Yeah. If you take six and six, you go 12 and 68. That's disaster. Oh, and the five is alive. Now, now, I'm wondering, now we found out earlier on House Shot Heroes that if you miss the five pin, it is Powder City. I'm interested to know what happens here. Let, let's, let's call somebody over here from Mation Militia. I'm new. I don't know. Oh, he's new? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. He's new. He doesn't know. You ain't got no powder on your house? Oh, I do. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Better nope. looking for the spare. Yeah, homie. Oh. <laughs> he does not want the new song to be Powder Me to the no, Moon. No, no, no. Or Fly not. Me to the Powder. Even though that would be fresh. Yeah, it would be. He did not leave his powder in San Francisco. <laughs> Hagen had a um, seventh frame debacle, seven and two. Let's see if he can um, pick up where he left off in the six previous frames, and he does. Hagen. 
He does, however, they're in danger of losing this game because there's someone that still has seven in a row, and he's on Mop Nation Militia, Jesse Coat, looking for eight in a row. That ball looks good, it is. Oh my goodness. Eight in a row for Jesse Coat. Oh man. Coat of the pocket, nice there. Coat of arms. Yes. And coat right of, now he's got of the honor. arms. <laughs> coat of honor. Coat of, coat of honor. I thought you said coat of butter one second. I'm like, what? <laughs> All right, potential 279 finish for Shalfo. Shalfo 279, but that 279 does not beat a 300. It does not. It does not. And it does not beat a 280, which is what will happen if Paul Smith goes out the door. Actually, I'm sorry, two set, well, it will be a 270. Smith looking to maintain that 270 pace, and he will. Oh, yeah. That is five in a row for Paul Smith. We're going to the eighth frame. Mop Nation starting to build out a little lead, 38 pin advantage going into ninth frame. And if I am Hagen and Shelfo, those strikes that I have in the eighth frame need to be doubles in the ninth frame, or else I'm probably not winning the scratch matchup in game one. Let's see if Bennett's in it. Bennett keeping it clean for all eight frames, but here comes number nine. And oh, he leaked that one out. Area check. He's, he's on a spare. He could afford to do the area check at this point. Obviously, he liked the strike, but he didn't make a mistake that he can't cover. Hester with a ball change. And should not. And just like I said, he made a mistake. That He made a mistake, but it's something that he can cover. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Hester's mistake right now is a little bit harder to cover. A little out of bit. So, significantly harder. Yeah, baby, let's go. To me, that wasn't a wise ball change. You, nope. You're maintaining pocket. Um, you, 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 don't have, you don't know if you have a look with something. I, I, I yeah. personally say don't, don't switch the surface that fast. Yeah, but here, here's how I'm going to look at it. You're down 20. You're on the spare. You really want to try to get something going on to help your other bowlers True. out there. I don't mind being aggressive in that situation. Yeah. If you're up 20, I would agree with you. If you're down 20, you got to make a move because you do have to outpoint them by 20 pins. That's true. That's why, they call it risk, that's why they call it risk and reward. But um, that was all risk and no reward in that one. Well, and the reward was a brick. Hmm. Hagen with the 10 pin. And Mop Nation, again, who started off slow, is looking to to now not just attack but maintain. They're, we're up by 20. They can be up by a lot more depending on what everybody else does. Well, it looks like the Mount Mount Nation is saying when opponents go low, we go high. And let's see if Coates stays high up. And yes, 420. Nine in a row for Coates. And Mount Nation all of a sudden are now up 50 and looking for more. And obviously, if you're identity crisis, this is absolutely not how you want to start game one. Because they're going to lose scratch. Handicap one and handicap two, they're fighting to hold on. They're actually up on handicap two, but again, they're, they're fighting to hold on. Yeah, handicap are. one, they are trailing. Let's see, Big Paul, time. let's see Paul Smith up here. Lane 16. Whoa. There it goes. Making that, uh, making that seven pin lean back. Chalfo has to strike here in order to keep it under 50. Yeah, Smith looking like 270. Colt looking like 300. Chalfo looking like 279. 202 potential finish though for Hester. Chalfo strike. Going 10th frame. Mob Nation is up by by 58, yeah, by 58. And to make life more difficult for Identity Crisis, mm -hmm. you got somebody on a 300, uh -huh. you got somebody on a mark, Yep. and your leadoff bowler's got a 172 in the ninth frame. There 22 now with the strike. Hey. So now he's happy about there, there he goes. If you only lose by 50, that's within range yeah. to do something. And the one thing about his last shot, as we look at Bennett, oh, Bennett's still trying to find his GPS right now. The Wi-Fi's not working. The one thing about Wi that ball pretty good in this building. Yeah, it definitely is. That's why we're streaming. Uh, but but one thing, if I could uh, take note about about that that ball change, even though it, it left a split, it was a good read because it has enough aggression to take out the corners. It's all about if you throw it well. 
and it'll fight through the oil. It'll get there. It'll take those corners out that he was leaving previously, which could um, so show some good signs, especially when you have when you're competing as a Leo bowler who hasn't really been able to throw consistently. Being on on being Tony Bennett, well, Hester well, Hester has found what he wanted. Bennett hasn't opened. Hester's That's true. opened twice. That is very true. And right now, the difference between those both bowlers is twenty pence. Yep. 192 finish for Jonathan Hester. Not a coincidence while I say that. The story, however, in this game hmm. is Jesse Coach Jr. He's got the front nine looking for 10 and a tray. And, and if he does that, that will be the third tray that we're covering today. Yes. Yeah, Tony Bennett, 210. Shout out to Puzo here on the middle pair, even though we're right now watching it. Uh, great subbing. Let's see what Hagen right now can at least give three strikes to make to say something and keep it a little closer, and he does. Potential 245 finish well, for Hagen. We got to keep it closer for two reasons. Number number one, obviously, it's game one. But yes. number two, and more importantly, if they don't show up in the 10th frame, yeah. they have a chance to steal. Yeah, that definitely that sounds like a family feud to me. It's always a chance to steal, right? Always is, especially if you can get three strikes going the other way. Yeah, three, yeah, three, three X's are good here. They're not good there. That is true. Cole coming up. up now. Woo, that, that's front 10 for the man with the coat. The man with the golden arm. Yep. The coat of many colors. Yes. Ooh. Oh. Defiant nine pin right there. 45 turns to 35 real quick. And Hagen had the front six until he made the mistake in the seventh frame. Mm. Colt going for front 11. Mm. Oh, gets a, little, get, gets a little firm with that front 10, seven pin, 89 finished. Assuming that that spare is going to be converted, and I'm going to stick with that assumption. Two thirty-five finish for Hagen. All over that two eighty-nine. Great game. Great start. We're going to go over to, uh, to lane 17 and 18 momentarily. We're going to show you bonus ball in the end of their 10th frame going into game two. That one's starting to get tighter. It's going to be interesting. Strike over here by Shalfu. Mm -hmm. And again, 279 is great. However, two, you got a 289 on the board and a possible 270 on the board. Mm -hmm. And when your teammates don't match that intensity, that's how you lose games. Oh, wow. Wow. Don't know what hit it, but it Delayed hit it anyway. action. Paul Smith, don't give me that while well, they gave him that. It's two more for Shalfo. And you're right, here comes that 279. Mm, a little high right there. Smith coming up now. Looking for eight in a row. That ball looks good, and it is. They said, don't give me that the first shot. They gave it to him. This one, he they didn't give him anything. He took it. Yeah, he definitely took it. Yeah, he definitely took it, absolutely. And let's see if right now if Shalafo can at least finish for that 279 right there. Shalafo going up. Shalafo, 279 279, great game. Uh, we've really been flirting with 300s all day. And right there, 279, shockingly, what is it, the, the fifth or sixth best score of the, of the day? Right now, it's it's the it's going to be the second best score in the game one. It looks like mm -hmm. 270 by by Paul Smith. 
Mm -hmm. And a 7.69 scratch shot by Mop Nation. They'll win that first game by 63. Now let's go over to lane 17 and 18. And we're finally to the first game on the handicap side. Mop Nation trying to hold on to a 61 pin lead. But I'm not sure if that reason is because Identity Crisis did something good or Mott Militia right now needs to find a GPS. Well, well Zach, Zach Thompson switched from the purple pants to the purple shorts. And let's see if his, uh, his scores translate to the change. Hopefully something changes there. Oh, the scratch. So a quick recap for the scratch. Can you give us a quick recap for scratch game one? Right now, Tony. Right now, your leader, Jesse Coates Jr., 289. Had the front nine, front 10. Then he threw a one pin spare hit. David Chalfo, 279. Paul Smith, 270. Sean Hagen, 235. Jonathan Hester, 192. Tony Bennett, 210. You had one big score from Mott Nation canceled out by Identity Crisis, but you didn't have the other big score canceled out, and that's why Mott Nation wins. Game one on that. First handicap pair. We're starting it up. Got matching strikes. Meanwhile, the I will get you the exact numbers in terms of what Scratch and Handicap are doing, but the wood is very, very close. Very Unofficially, close. Mop Nation won the first two games by so combined 108 pins. It looks like if we get a strike here from James Bazette. It will be Identity Crisis getting the wood, and he does. Yes. So for those who are just tuning in, just to let you know what's happening over here, Identity Crisis, A Bowler is Zach Thompson in the purple shorts. B Bowler is Michael Puzo. And C Bowler for Identity Crisis is Christopher Hansen. Mont Nation, lead off is Chris Larson. Second bowler is Lexi Stolakis. And your anchor, Justin Urbano. Right now, identity crisis, looking to gain on their momentum that they've gotten from the that they've gotten from the handicap two squad. Mop Nation trying to build on that momentum that they've gotten on scratch in handicap one. It's going to be a very different dichotomy here than what we saw the first tour stop. Mm -hmm. Indeed. That was done early on. Identity crisis, nothing but strikes. Mop Nation, two strikes and a spare. Meanwhile, finishing off second pair, James Bazette. He can go off the door, 237. That would give them a 120-pin lead all by themselves there, and that will give them a 12-pin edge on the overall wood. Overall wood usually determines who wins matches. As we always say, wood is always definitely good. Wood is good. Again, identity crisis with a different set of confidence, with a little bit of a different swag. Maybe they know what I announced earlier, which is if they don't win this one, their third place is tenuous at best. Well, I stand now, obviously, if they, if they can win it at Mop Nation's expense, all the better for them. Well, I stand the on set my prediction. finishes it out, 227. There's Zachary Thompson all over his spear right there, converting it. Let's see what our bowler, a B bowler, is this Lexia? Lexia Stolakis. Stolakis. Now, the difference between the averages is only a 10 pin difference on the handicap. And I was about to say a strike from her and Justin, and they make up the wood. That is definitely not a strike. No, it is not. Is Oops. A very, it's a four, six, seven. A very unmakeable split. Even though all it is makeable. All spares you can, can make be that. Makeable. You I can mean, do it. I mean, all things are possible. It's just probability goes down when the pins are on the same level. Right there, Puzo up. And like I predicted, I feel like Puzo's going to shoot 750 or better um, in this one. Were you going to put him in brackets, the squad? I would have liked to. And I brackets. forgot to. I forgot to. Well, maybe he put himself <laughs> in brackets. <laughs> You know, well, let's call Michael over here. Uh, Michael, I don't know if he's going to be yeah, here. I got the headphones in. I'm going to keep him in the zone. Keep him, keep him in the zone? Yeah. And he's keep definitely on zone. auto pilot. 
autopilot, mm -hmm. like automatic. 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 It, it helps when your ball matches your jersey. It does, it does. Urbano is trying to match what he did in the first frame. Here that ball comes. Coming up, that ball looks good. It is. Something Definitely. goes down. Urbano, two in a row. Yeah, Urbano taking out the 7 and 10, getting um, some good carry on there, finishing slightly behind the head, but enough force to drive out and drive away the 7 and the 10 pin as well. Anson's looking to double if he can. Anson is looking to double if he can, uh, if he can, then Identity Crisis will hold the league. Now, another sub story that is coming into play here. We're all going to see if Hanson doubles. He does. Right there. Hanson right there. So they will now take the lead back. Another sub story here is watching with bated anticipation is House Shot Heroes. Keep in mind, obviously, they beat up on Identity Crisis, but if Identity Crisis can do, as you say, in the prediction to take 26, mm -hmm. and House Shot Heroes can win by a huge margin, then all of a sudden Ooh. that would that game gets a lot tighter in terms of the chase for first place. Well, yeah, um, that definitely will be a good shift, and it seems there might be a potential shift in the scores of Zach Thompson right there, who, who shot 176 in game one, looking to hopefully stretch that first margin. Avoid, avoids making a baby, pulls out of that situation, and does not leave the 310. Trying to make a baby and pulls out of that situation, really? Pause. <laughs> no, Sean. No, no, no comments, Gordon. <laughs> Here's what I will say. Michael Puzo, a.k.a. Super Sub, looking for three in a row. And he will get it. Yes, he will. <laughs> You and, know, I'm kicking myself. And, and you know, you know why? Because you're gonna stack them up. See if I can get, get Kupuzo's attention. I just out of curiosity, just to see what my little cohort did or did not do, or how badly he's when he wants to beat himself up. Did you put yourself into any bracket or side action today? No. Yeah. And, and if remember, he put remember, you in, would you have accepted and, it? And, yes. And, and, no. No. And, and I totally, I totally forgot. And then we started working on it. I looked up. I said, oh, man. <laughs> whatever, whatever people want to do with their money, I don't give a shit. I, I, I know. I'm, I'm just here to bowl and have fun. The They've heard it all before. Yeah, yeah. they probably have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they probably heard a lot worse things from a UBA broadcast than yeah. Moo Poo. That's what I like to call it. Moo Poo. Moo Poo. Uh, all right, here. Alexia. Uh, that's, that's a sanitized version of that. And... Uh, Lexi's got some mupu that she's got to deal with in her own. That looks like four. What is that? Three, four, six, seven. Yes, it is. Identity crisis looking to capitalize. Here comes Hanson looking for three in a row. He's, oh, oh, he does not have an eight pin. Sorry for hurt any viewers' it. ears. No. <laughs> yeah, that hurt me. That hurt me. That, that, that right there. When you throw a shot the way you like it, but you don't get it how you want it. It's just when it hurts so bad in my Lauren Hill voice. <laughs> I'll guarantee you he would prefer what he's got to shoot on lane 18, lane 18 than what Lexi's Ooh. got to shoot on lane 17, and she almost makes a spare. Yeah, yeah. Even though it didn't make the spare, definitely got a uh, majority of the wood, which is always good. Like we say, wood is good. And uh, we're going to see a potential uh, spare conversion by, by Mr. Hansen over there on lane 18. What the non spare over here did from Hansen is that it kept Mop Nation sort of in the game. If Urbano can strike, then they'll only lose another 10 pins and they'll be down by 15. Mm -hmm. But again, better to be down by 15 early than getting run over and then it will be impossible to come back. Mm. Yeah. And we want to make all, we want to alleviate from the impossibilities and try to make all things possible. Let's see what's possible for Urbano. And. Oh! Whoa! How do you avoid a 2 what, what's, 10 what's, That's what's possible from yes. Urbano right there. He you said, wanted to know what was possible from him? That, that's what's possible. He said, him. anything's possible. He said, shut up, Sean Dyke. Yeah, that's he, what yes, he said. He, he, he shut me up with that. Keep your, keep your name out of my mouth, I believe, is uh, yeah, the correct yeah, terminology. And, and, and that was, a, that was a, 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 certainly a smack. <laughs> an Oscar-worthy smack. Yes. And we saw and that an was Oscar-worthy an Oscar smack worthy strike over there by Larson. Yes, it was. Let's see if the man who had on the purple pants and now he's trying to strike all what is sorts of purple, purple shorts. Yeah, purple, shorts. purple is one of the royal colors. My uh, sister's favorite color is purple. Yeah, purple and gold. 
Shout out to Jessica Pepper, my sister. Yes, purple, but with a golden strike right there. Favorite color is purple. And strikes are king right now. And her daughter Elena's and favorite queens. color is purple. And queen. Yes. Thompson with a double. Again, trying to build more of a lead in for Mop Nation. That's that's the best way to prevent a comeback from Mop Nation is make the deficit so big that they can't come back. Lexia right now has got issues. Yeah, so if we could talk about Lexia right now. Um, Lexia right now, you can tell, uh, very reserved, very calm at the bottom as we have some technical issues on lane 18. Um, as you can see, the way she sets, the way she stays in her shot, uh, very settled and very good under the ball and stays there. And if we could take a little slight recap right now over at, at Scratch right now. By the, by the way, Puzo is up. Yeah. And I'm going to laugh hysterically if he shoots 300. I, I'm going to laugh at myself. But one You're going to cry, I think, more than but, laugh. But we're not going to laugh at Scratch Pair because right now Scratch Pair is definitely doing their thing. Well, Scra well Scratch Pair from, from Mop Nation yeah, is definitely Nation. doing their thing. Doing Scratch things. They're doing scratch things, and that's going to be a problem for Identity Crisis. Yeah. and, and as Now, on the handicap side, Identity Crisis is doing their thing. Seven straight strikes to open up game two. Mm -hmm, indeed. Let's uh, let's focus over here, if we may. Let's focus on lanes. Oh, wait. No, we have our lanes back. We don't have to go to uh, 19 and 20. Let's go back to 17 and 18. Puzo, three in a row. Yeah, Puzo, three in a row. I, I, like I said, I said he's going to shoot 750 or better. Uh, I would have... I, I believed it, and I would have loved to put my money on it but because I'm over here fraternizing and having fun. Did not do that, and, and he's, he's walking it out, and I'm just kicking myself. How's your wallet doing right now? Uh, you know, either way, my wallet's going to be good, but it would have been a lot better. Your wallet's crying <laughs> right been... now. Don't give me that. <laughs> Don't give me that moo poo. Oh, man. Moo poo. Moo poo. Moo -poo. Oh, Lord. Urbano looking for four in a row, and he's got it. He definitely got it. Now, no begging that time, no light trips that time. That was buried in the pocket. He got a ball. <laughs> I'm cutting my wrist vertically right now. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, can, you can ask the bracket when enjoying Nuru if, he is, if it's a chance that you can put him in winner take all game three. Yeah. And right there, Hanson right now doing a great job. All right, so despite all the strikes, from Mop Nation, another 10 pins over on the ledger go over to Identity Crisis. They are up by 25 as we go into the fifth frame. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, more strikes on the ledger on the scratch side. Mop Nation is threatening to blow scratch wide open. Wide open. So, oh, purple you up. have to have. Purple I out. Identity Crisis absolutely has to keep striking because they've got to cover what other, whatever damage Mop Nation is inflicting on Identity Crisis on the scratch side. Handicap side, Chris Larson looking to double up, and he does not eat him. Yeah, it's very aggressive up from the right side. Uh, plays a very um, keep it simple style game. Um, and it will always, like I said, if it doesn't give you 10, it will give you 9. Well, the house seems to be very down and in. It doesn't seem like you're throwing, throwing the ball out and swinging your back doesn't work. You're leaving a lot of corner pins. Mm -hmm. Just like Paul Smith game two. Mm -hmm. He had a run of 300. That run's now gone. So you still have four bowlers that can trade bomb, one of which includes your boy that you did not put any money on. <laughs> when it hurts so bad. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. So Matt, maybe your wall feels a little better now. No, he's going he's to make the spare. Three, four, six, ten. <laughs> he's he make could the make the spare, he's but he, make he the will spare. not shoot a 300. I'll guarantee you that. I will bet you all the money in my wallet right now that Michael Puzo will not shoot a 300 this game. <laughs> not even with handicap. Well, I don't know. Can he do it with handicap? No, no, not with no, handicap. No, he can't. No, he can't. He can't do it with handicap or scratch. But he will make the spare. He's going he's gonna to go clean for 30 frames. He could. Knowing your luck, he probably will. He will. I will not take that bet. He will. Because it is you that we're talking about, and you seem to have that thing, so he's looking for the spare here, and he will not do it. Like I said, he's only going 29 clean frames. That's what I said. <laughs> well, speaking of um, trying to remain clean, I, I see right now Lexia um, searching, and, and she searches well. Uh, very good, very balanced at the bottom. Right now, she's trying to get over that transition. We saw earlier that Identity Crisis didn't get through the transition. No, they did not. But right now, they're, they clearly on, top did not. Of, they're on top of the transition. And right now, Mop is not. And this is where I felt this uh, 
can play a factor in the potential 26. Right now, what will help a lot is if identity crisis keeps striking, and that's yes. exactly what Hansen's doing. Yeah. After leaving the spare of the third frame, strike, strike. And Identity Crisis once again picking up more lead. That chop open from Lexia certainly will help Identity Crisis' cause. Yeah. It will not help Mont Nation's cause. Yeah, right now it's look, instead of three on three, it's looking like four on two. Um, and that being um, not only Lexia, but Lexia's mind is uh, playing a factor in, in there. And, and, and when you're trying to get ahead of a transition and it's bugging you that you can't, and also you see uh, opponents striking with the exception of the open that, that Puzo just left. You know, you're, you're feeling like you're hurting your team, and well, sometimes even, you gotta just close your eyes and just throw it. Even with the open, they're still gonna pick up more pins on Not Nation, even if Urbano throws a strike here, and he will not nine pin. Yeah, nine pin right there. So, so another, assuming even mm -hmm. if Urbano gets a spare, another 20 pins yes. that Identity Crisis will pick up. So now they'll be up by almost 50 pins. Almost 50. 46 plus. So Mop Nation is doing their job on the scratch is what they should be doing. However, they're losing both handicap squads at, at this point to Identity mm -hmm. Crisis. Indeed. And if you're going to beat Mop Nation Militia, this is how you do it. This is the blueprint on how to beat them. Their scratch is one of the best teams in the New England area. That is very true. The handicap, again, that is a great team from the New England area, but you can be gotten handicap. No, you can't. Espe especially if you're shooting a 59 in the fifth frame. Yipes. Yikes, yikes. I mean, you have right now three bowlers. I'm not a mop nation that are not going to average 100 going into the fifth frame. That is three too many, especially when on the other side you've got two bowlers on identity crisis with the front four. Yeah, 249 potential for Chris Larson. Let's see if we got a little more purple rain coming right here from Mr. ZT himself. Zachary Thompson. Purple power. Indeed, purple power. One eyed, one horn bowling, purple people eater. <laughs> or purple pin eater. I don't know if he eats people. Uh -uh, purple penny. He gives the pins of purple and purple there. And Zachary Let's Thompson. See, Zachary's in his own little world right now. Yeah, and he's. Fear the purple shorts. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely looking to give himself a 100 pin stretchy and then some. They shot 176 game one. He could strike out for a 280 game two. Now, Meanwhile, your boy yeah, is up in six. My right? guy, that's right. It's your guy. My guy over here. Motive carry. Yeah, motive carry. Michael and will make sure that he will try to not disappoint you. <laughs> he will not. Because I know he disappointed you with that open in the last frame. Mm. Well, I feel like he he's gonna like he's throwing the ball well. And, you know, he has a very good predictable surface. He is definitely rolling the ball very well. He likes that one out there. He likes it a lot. And that's why he likes it. You're, you're a guy with a strike in the sixth frame. There you go. You know why? Because get on a knee brace. Well, the more important thing is this. Identity Crisis is doing what they did not do in the first tour stop, which is carrying. Yeah, carry, carry, and more carry. That's exactly what you need. And the more you carry, it becomes scary for, the, for, your, for your opposition. Well, if you're mopping, you're looking at the other team carry, it's like, uh-oh, what do we do here? Well, what they need to do is they need to close frames. That's what they need to do. <laughs> and by the way, Identity's Crisis scores. And again, I've got the first sheet to show. A lot better this game by at least over 200 pins better mm. this in game one in this tour stop than it was in game one the other tour stop. Mm -hmm. As I said, I always root for the underdog, being a perceived underdog myself. And right now, um, they right now they got whipped like a dog earlier, and now it seems like they have a dog in the fight coming this one. Well, they definitely have a dog in the fight. Right now, if you're a Mop Nation, and again, you're yeah, you won two out of three games in game one, but you did not win the wood, and that's not going to help you. Yeah, right now she has a, a situation where, honestly, I feel she just needs to move right and just pipe it up. Or, or slow down. It seems yes. like she's rushing. Indeed. It seems like she's frustrated. It yeah. seems like she's not following through. So, yeah, she's got to slow down. She's got to follow through. Yeah, and if any bowler's watching this, you understand this, what I'm about to say. Um, usually when you get frustrated, your feet and your um, and your 
and your stroke are not in a line. Once you get them in sync, everything comes together. Once you start you know, getting frustrated and your feet start moving fast and then you try to match the speed of your feet, sometimes you need to take a breath, take a step back. Yeah, Look that, at yourself that, and not the score. That second ball that she just threw needs, needed to be what she needed to throw the first ball. Yeah. Yeah, and there's some discussions happening right now. And uh, Coke coming over to giving a little um, a, a little pep words of, of encouragement, a little pep talk, if you will. I, I like what you did. Pep talk. Coin it. Pepper talk. Pe pep talk. Pepper talk. Pep talk. And probably help, help her get some pep in her step. And let's see. Oh, wow, great conversion over there. We didn't see it. and But we did see that strike. We're going right now with the strike. However, they are down by 77 pins going into the seventh frame. So they've got some work to do. Yes. And not only are they down by 77 pins, since all the bowlers can potentially double over identity crisis aside, Bob's got a lot, and I mean a lot of work to do. Yes, they do. And like I said, I... I'm good at spotting things, and not to say what I spotted is already correct because we still have a lot of frames left, but I call things for a reason because I've been in situations, and right now the situation is this. Identity Crisis gets to salvage something that they lost earlier as long as they keep putting in the work. And Mop Nation, as you can tell in the middle of Paris, starting to get frustrated. Yes, and when frustration plays in, so, that's a different opponent. Yeah, Luxie is not the only person that may need to have a little pep talk right now. Woo. Larson being frustrated not being able to find lane 17. Purple pants, no problem. That's right. Zachary Thompson. Let's let's see if I can get a word with Zachary. Zachary, talk to me about your pants. Because they're very purpley. Uh, yeah, so we started with the pants in the first match, and that didn't go so good, so yeah. it was time to make a change, and uh, I'm throwing a little bit better game too, so. You know, I want to just uh, make the fit work all the way across, and so right. I got a few pairs. Well, right so, now it okay, seems so like your fit is fitting. <laughs> so, <laughs> the fit is fitting. Uh, the fit, the fit works. You know, it's fitting right now a lot better than it was earlier. <laughs> so you went from pants to shorts. What was going to happen that third set if you didn't do anything? Were you going to find like a little banana hammock somewhere and put that on? Find one? I don't have to find one. <laughs> <laughs> you have one. <laughs> Question is, is it purple? Of course. Purple. Of course. Right here. <laughs> Keep the tone. All right. Good luck, sir. Thanks, Gordon. Appreciate it. Uh, keep in mind for all the people viewing, uh, I, I did not inquire about any hammocks of any sort. <laughs> if you have a storyline, you must continue and follow through with said storyline. So sorry, Cody. You're going to talk about the pants and then the shorts. you got to go progressive. So is your name Cody? Is your, are you finishing the story? Let's see if we can finish this potential 279 over here for Hanson. Right and now the storyline is not just Hanson. Here's your storyline. Only three frames on Identity Crisis right now are not strikes. Each bowler has got either a spare or an open in oh. one frame. Everything else oh. is strikes. And more importantly, if you look at what the Mop Nation is doing, Mop Nation is in danger of getting blown out on both handicap sides. Oh, man. Shout out, man. Mike, old school guy, OG at Halis, the 2810 shows back up again. again there's been a lot of 2810s between yeah, Twitch no Top Malik's. 1 and this one. No Josh Malik. No Josh Malik. No silly cams, just 2810s. <laughs> And again, if he does not make the spare, they're going to be down by over 120 pence. Yes, they will. Let's see if he's going to play hero ball. And yes, he is going to try to play hero ball. And oh, I don't know seven what the out. Heck was that. The, kick, the kick was up. It's good. Yeah. Um, risk, no reward. Absolutely no reward. El Cheapo, if you will, on that. Yeah, well, I understand what he was trying to do. He's trying to clip, he's yeah, trying to clip the two, bounce it off the wall, hit the nine, hit the eight, and then slide that over into the ten. Yeah, well, that no, didn't work. No sliding, and, and ooh. nine pin staying up doesn't work either. Yeah, you got a bunch of frustrated Bob Nation bowlers, and they're sort of letting the moment and the game get away from them. Now, the team that has the best opportunity uh -huh. to take a to be really happy at the end of this is house shot heroes depending on what they're doing down there oh that was way inside because now they may make up ground on both obviously they made up ground on identity crisis yeah but they can make up ground on both them and mop nation if they lose now going over to scratch mop nation is trying to match 
on the scratch side what they're doing on the handicap side. Mm -hmm. Conversely, however, they don't have an answer to that third handicap, the second handicap pair, that third pair, which we will be focusing on on the next game, by the way. Mm -hmm. And yipes. By the way, the, the three pin eliminates Actually, I should say the 3-9 mm. eliminates the seven in a row that Identity Crisis had in terms of this game. However, he does make the conversion. Yeah, he definitely makes the conversion. Staying clean right now. Potential, um, I want to say 258. Uh, yep. 258 potential for there. 264 potential there. And 279 potential on the bottom. That's right. That would be almost an 800. Not quite, but almost. Yeah, potential 188 finish right here for Lexia. And right there, a little kick out right there. We well, got to do this. At least keep it close. That's what you need to do. Yes. You got to make the wood manageable. Yeah. Keep in mind they did win the game, game one, so they are, do have 45 pin credit after game one. Yes. And they're going to need it because it looks like they're going to lose by over 100 game two. And continuing the 29 clean frames. Oh, and he gets a little carry right there. Um, mercy, That's mercy me right there. Marvin Gaye carry right there. That's your by boy. Puzo. That's your boy. Yep, that's my guy. Now, you know Mario Puzo wrote the Godfather series, right? Very well. well Mario Puzo. I should have made an offer, and I shouldn't have refused and to you, remember. you refused the offer that he was offered you. Yeah, he made I an offer, you refused it. Yep. Shout out to my refusal, and shout out to Mr. Urbano with the strike, and who um, had a major debacle in frame seven. I, how ironically, double seven. Seven frame, seven out. But eighth frame, eight was great. Let's see if this shot right here is great for Hanson. And... But I'm pretty sure he'll be fine with the nine, but he would have loved 10 in the end. Well, he would have. That, that also cuts the damage down, and it also stops the bleeding, because from the second frame on, Identity Crisis kept on building wood, 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 mm. which is how you get up to 120 pin lead. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how you get it. Sometimes there's a thin line between up and down, and the up sometimes to come down if you're not shooting like you should be shooting, especially if you want to stay up. Potential 258 finish for not only Zach Thompson, but for the anchor bowler, uh, Chris Hansen. He likes that one better off the hand. I'm sure he does. And that's, that's why. That's why. Nine frame coming up again. You're probably not going to win this game if you're Mop Nation Militia, but you do need to cut the wood down. Oh, indeed. Your, cut, your wood right now, minus the 45, you're only down by around 70, 80 pins. You can make that up in a game. That's not impossible. You just don't want the damage to be any worse. Uh, for all my reggae fans, searching, I'm searching. Searching for a life for the words e. of Debbie Dab, I'm searching. Yeah. In the words of... In the, in the words... I'm looking for a new line, baby. <laughs> a new line. Uh -oh. oh, we got a reverse Josh Malik over there. Pete Smith's looking for a new line. That was 7 9. Oh, yeah. They'll still win the scratch, but in a big butt here. The women they thought they were going to have, they don't, and that 10 pin is still up there. That's all right. Yeah, Puso was feeling it. But, he, but there's one uh, cannoli that's still up there on the lanes. Yeah, right there. He's Com trying to use a gun. He left the cannoli. Assuming he makes a spare potential 243 finish for him. It's still a nice frame. Chris Larson still chat, being a little bit chatty Cathy, trying to chat with his teammates here. First 10 pin I've seen him shoot all day. <laughs> Shoots it very and well. he's made it. I feel like uh, Lexi is going to finish out for um, 188. Um, once you see you're down, you can actually, well, you could actually relax because there's really no pressure when you know you're already down. Well, yes, you, do. know. you already know that there is some pressure. You can't, you can't go down lower than what you currently are. Yeah. That would be an issue. And that's going to walk in the pocket. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's going to walk in. You put her in everything, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. In my mind, yes. Hey, yes, in your mind. That's pause, the As you said. Well, uh, I'm a gentleman. if he finishes with a 188, <laughs> yeah, you know that that would be a huge oh, improvement. Again, set him up there. That, speaking of good shots, good shot uh, for Hanson. Uh, that's right. Urbano trying to double, and again, if they can double, at least cut this under a hundred. Yeah, right now it's all it's all about chopping it down. You know, you you, you don't you don't want to you don't want to be down by too much. 
You want something to work with. And let's see what Urbano's working with right here. You know, he, I'm pretty sure he's still thinking about the fact that he went seven out, and he's trying and he's trying to go out the door to for, mentally make up for for that mistake he made, not numerically, but definitely mentally. Going in some frame. What is around a hundred? And again, if they can cut her under under a hundred, you can make the wood very very reachable. You want to make and it reachable. there's a good shot by Larson. Yes, Larson, what a great shot right there. He uh, looked like he was, um, kept on typing addresses in the GPS, having trouble to find his destination, <laughs> found it there. <laughs> now, the destination potentially for Mr. Zach Thompson, a.k.a. Purple Rain, a.k.a. single ball bag on the back of his jersey, 258 finish, considering he strikes it, that looks like it's going to walk in. And it does walk in. Walks in and runs through. Power rather. of the single purple. You know what? I never asked him if his ball bag was purple. Oh, you know what? That would have been a good I question. I should have. I got to ask him that. <laughs> and Larson up. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, look at that. Mix it up. Again, Larson can go out for 216. Oh, I am not going to say what Chris Larson said. I will just say he's talking about odd and even number of chromosomes. Yes, pretty much. And, oh, that's inside, but that's going to hold. That's it's definitely going to hold. That's definitely going to hold, right? He put it, he struck oil on that one. Big hold. And I would be smiling, too, if I went from 176 to 250. Yeah, it's a slight difference. You can keep, the, keep, keep the purple shorts on. Oh, maybe maybe Larson will like change to a blue pair of shorts. Yeah, two fifteen, right there. Two one five. Going up here again. Scratch, no problem. Scratch, Mop Nation's up by 120 pins. Handicap, big problem. Mm. And that looks like it's gonna be two fifty eight. Oh, two fifty seven. Great game from Thompson. Great game. Great comeback. Um, Got to boost up your morale a bit. All right. Inquiry minds want to know, what is the color of your single ball bag? Kind of peach. Peach? <laughs> peach? Not purple? At least if it wasn't going to be purple, I'd like maroon, euchre, somewhere in that vicinity. Peach? Do you want to know the origin of the nickname then? Absolutely. I actually had testicular cancer about nine years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's a little bit of cancer awareness, a little bit of joke at my own, my own expense. Um, so it's been a fun thing, and the team's picked up on it. And, you know, every year I do the Movember cause, do the, the mustache, raise all, all the money for uh, men's health awareness and everything. So, yeah, it was just a fun way to play with it. Fortunately, I'm perfectly healthy now. There's been no issues in that time. But, yeah, I thought it would be a fun nickname, especially because I'm not one to change balls while I'm bowling either, so a little bit of a play on that too. So, yeah, that, that, that's where it comes from. So a single oh, ball bag. Yeah. So a single ball bag is not necessarily the ball bag that we're thinking of. It's a different sort of single ball bag. Precisely. Yeah. It's it, 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 it's a little bit of play on both. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad that you cancer free. Congratulations on that. And if someone wants to get involved or hear more about it, where should they be going? Uh, so like any sort of organizations that you would recommend that would help sponsor something if they want to give any sort of donation to it. So I'm a big pro proponent of the Movember campaign. Uh, you know, you grow a mustache with the month of November. They raise money for uh, prostate cancer, testicular cancer research, awareness, uh, treatments, um, additional like clinical trials, and also men's uh, mental health awareness as well, uh, which is also a big cause. It's always in the month of November, so I'm always a big advocate for that, and I love anybody's support that's willing to uh, help contribute. Uh, that is fantastic. Congratulations. Great game. Thanks and good luck. Thanks a lot, Gordon. Appreciate it. Thank you. You got it. So we learned something new every day over here. And one of the things that never gets old for me is the diversity of all the UBA bowlers and where everybody comes from. This, again, no different. You know, at the end of the, game, at the, end of the day, as much as we have fun with bowlers in their games, at, at the end of each game, at the end of the day, we're all a family. And right now, the family, it's all identity crisis on the handicap side. Mop Nation has not made their life easy for them in game three. They're starting to come back on that third side. We will get to that momentarily over on lanes 19 and 20, but at a big butt here. They have a long road to hoe. And what Urbano did did not help.
clean it out. 369. I'm sorry, wrong. 3610. And if you're going to do that, do that now. Michael Puzo, 241. Alexia finishes with 177. Is that the right now looking to make the spare and again cut this under triple digits, which he will. Yeah, but this seemed to be a, mo a transition game that confused Mop Nation Militia and mm -hmm. Identity Crisis took complete advantage of it, especially on the handicap side. Yeah, they definitely did. Big shot here. Yeah, an amazing shot right well, there. Well, Hansen can push the wood up in game two to 148, mm. I'm sorry, 144, which would mean the wood would be at 99 pins that Mop Nation's got to make up. Yeah, they got to make it up. They got to do it, and they got to do it now. Now, eventually, we're going to cross, we're going to go over to lanes 19 and 20. They're currently finishing up game two, and then we'll find out exactly what that overall what is. And it almost sort of looks like, poetically, it may be lanes 19 and 20 that determine who wins this match. Uh-huh. Because Mob Nation needs to continue what they've been doing on the scratch side, which is dominating. But they are down on the wood. They've got to cover the current mess that they're having to clean up on on the handicap side. And again, we'll get the exact numbers once we finish this out. <coughs> but can the scratch pair more than make up for what the handicap pair is not doing? And again, for your Mop Nation's handicap pair, that's fine. You've got to carry over what has been done. Urbano's going to finish with the 220. Yeah, Ur Urbano finishes 220. Uh, saw him do a little check with a different surface, get a different look. Uh, leaks that one out right there, 255 finish right there for Hansen himself. All right, so they will win the handicap this game by a whopping 131 pins. Right there, over here looking at the scratch pair right now, we have Tony Bennett who's starting off with three in a row, D Bowler. And let's see. Well, if, you're, if you're Mop, you need to keep pouring it on, and that's yeah. exactly what they've been doing. And Hester's trying to try, they're trying to send, return the sender. That's what they're trying to do. So if you're Identity Crisis, you've got to hold on to the scratch. You don't even have to win the game. You've got to hold on to the wood. Yeah, you got to. And hold then you've on. got to keep doing what you've been doing on the handicap pair, which has been dominating. Again, they won the second pair. They were down 45 after game one. They won by 131 after game two. So now they're up by around 76 pins. Right now, up we have Bill Beck. Bill Beck up, A bowl, and Beck right there, really making a statement right there. Uh, first frame is always a statement frame. You always want to do something to send a message. Up on lane. Lane 20 is built, is Brian Oppie. And very good. The opposition right now throwing a strike back at Identity Crisis. We have the grinder himself, Gino B. Oh, Gino Benamino. Right there, did not like that big four. We have the big four up. It's better to go for two. Hope we get three, and if we get four, that'll be amazing. Oh, crossing over. That was that was handy for, for for Jim right there, Jim Handy Jr. And only gets two. Good shot, hand job. And right now we are doing our thing right here up in Bolero Chicopee. Bolero Chicopee, we are seeing Mop Nation Militia versus Identity Crisis. And Mop Nation Militia is trying to fight. They're fighting from the bottom right now. Right now, James, I'm oh, sorry, Frank Fuller the third, getting a strike in his first frame. Let's see what's going to happen. We're waiting on the anchor bowler, which is James Bissett of Identity Crisis. We're trying to see what he can do. We saw James Bissett earlier. He's throwing the ball very well. We're going to see if we can continue throwing the ball well.
James Bissett up. Gets that ball out. And walking right through the pocket was James Bissett. So James Bissett, and it looked like he was ready. He was set, and all the pins, they went. Ready, set, go. And speaking of go, we're going to go right now to Bill Beck. Bill Beck up on lane 20. Bill Beck up. And, oh, get some merciful carry. Finishing very high on the head, but knocking everything down, taking everything out. Let's see what we got on lane 19. Lane 19. Oh, is it Oppie or Opie? Opie. Very good. Okay. That would be Opsie Daisy. Oh, Opsie Daisy. Well, I'm saying he's definitely being the op, the opposition. <laughs> but right, Opie. Opie so, Jr. <laughs> so, so again, going back to what the situation is, Mom Nation's got to average winning by around 50 pins per pair in order for them to take the win. Right now, they're doing that, and boy, are they turning it on on the scratch side. We will get to that momentarily. The issue is, as it's been all day for them, the handicap side. Here, here, jump. And right now, Mop Nation, who again couldn't find anything after the first game, have now started game three with five in a row. So, all right, let's chat with the handyman here one second. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like shit today. Well, well, let me ask you this. You started out with a double. What what adjustments did you make? Because you clearly made one. I just moved right a couple boards, you know, go along with what the team says, you know. Otherwise, I just, I don't know, I just make the best shots I can make, you know. One of the great things that I know about Mop Nation, because you guys are a powerhouse here in the Northeast New England division, is that you guys are one of the best teams in my mind in terms of communicating and going back and forth Correct. and having people from the scratch going over here back and forth. And I saw Alexia get a little TED talk in terms of that, and then she follows that up by shooting three in a row. Is that, com is that communication what separates you from everybody else? That's, that's exactly what helped me out, you know, is the, the team, you know, we're, we're a team and we help one another out all the time. Now, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be striking right now. All right, I'll let you focus on that. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. So right now, Mop Nation Militia is turning into Mop Nation Militia. The question becomes, can identity crisis hold on? They are trying to. The problem becomes, and it's a, it's a big problem to have, all the spirits in the world are not going to help you if the opposition is throwing strikes. Mm, yes, that is the question. Let's They've see what the hold answer on is. To, right, well, right now, the difference in the woods is 128. That is what Mob Nation needs to win all three pairs by, by right. a total 128. Obviously, if Identity Crisis wins by more in any of the pair, that's an addition to the 128 that Mob Nation needs oh. to make up. However, safe. that being said, yeah, <laughs> oh, safe. Acrobatic However, spare. <laughs> yeah, so you go over, and now here's the interesting thing. Scratch is going to be done a lot quicker than handicap. Mm -hmm. Scratch right now, Mop Nation, you have one bow with the front six. You may have another one with the front six. Yeah. That is certainly going to come into play in terms of the handicap side. And Bill well, Beck with a front three. Yeah. Front three for Bill Beck. Well, right now, Identity Crisis has got to hold on because Mop Nation is being extraordinarily aggressive, and they're throwing strikes right now. Now we're going to focus on lanes 19 and 20 in terms of the commentary. If anything else goes on on any of the one, other ones, oh my. Mm. If anything else goes on in terms of 300s or final scores from the other pairs, we will keep you posted and let you know. Right now, 7-pin goes in. Oh, oh boy. Well, I thought for a second that Identity Crisis had a break, but Benamino gives the break right back on a spare with a with a potential open that is a makeable spare but yes, it, it is. certainly is not easy yeah by design is makeable <laughs> but um but also well similar to what just happened well what almost happened that and would be makeable also but this is definitely makeable uh three six seven ten yeah but even if he makes it if handy and fuller both strike then again add another 10 pins over to mop nation now i'm going to say that mop nation will probably not cover the 172 pins of wood that they are down on on the trios, even though you never know. You never know. But the important thing is, again, if Mop can average 50 pins a game on the win, they're going to take the wood. Yeah. And the match. 
now I want to ask you this. Ask away. Um, if Identity Crisis finishes the story, um, what would be the potential point breakdown of that? I'm sorry? What would be the potential point breakdown of that well, if they're to finish it? It depends right now. I, I, I know the number you're looking for. Uh -huh. So, okay, let's, let's do some math. <laughs> so right now, if everything goes the way that it's currently going, Mob Nation is up on scratch and they're up in the woods. So that's eight there. Uh, handicap is a toss-up. Let's just say we'll go eight there. And let's just say that Mop Nation takes two. So eight, 10, 12. So right now we're looking at 22, 18. Okay. 22, 18 or 32, eight, depending on how, depending on how it goes. Yeah. So it will not be 26 as of right now, but there's a lot of game left to be played. There's a lot of game left we, to be played. We can certainly look at that. Now, going over here, Mop Nation had a chance to really cut into that lead on that second handicap pair. And, and they're not going to be able to do that. Whoa, we got, a, yes, we got a split conversion right there. Split conversion. Beautiful right, Mop conversion. Mop Nation now caps a 36-pin lead going into the fourth frame. And again, now it's about the wood. Wood, 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 wood. That is the question. Yeah, that was Fuller that filled the frame right there. Fuller filled it up. Made it full. That's right. Fourth frame coming up. Mop Nation is up by 36. However, Identity Crisis has got two strikes on the board. Yeah. And now Mop Nation gets a strike on the board. Yeah, on well, what should be four in a row, because that seven pin before in the third frame. Should have, could have, would have, didn't. But yes. <laughs> so, so right now, Handy is on three in a row. Beck is on three in a row. Nobody's got a 300 on the handicap pair. On the scratch pair, we have a... Oh. Tony Bennett may be looking to find another tray bomb in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. But we'll get to that if he hits a nine. Right now, going back to 19 and 20. Oh. Well, there's three, one, more, one more person that's not shooting a 300. That's yeah. a beautiful shot. Ten pin left by Beck. Well, let's see if the handyman himself, Mr. Handy right here, Jim Handy Jr., JHJ, is trying to make sure it's okay and okay. Yeah, he's for Handy. I quickly spoke to him, and he said the communication was why he's striking. And continuing the strike train, handy. That's and more right. importantly, because of, because of the non-strike over by Beck, the best that Identity Crisis can do is tie it up, keep, tie up the marks, keep it up 4-4. Assuming that he makes a spare, he will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beck can check off the spare right there. He Beck made check. that. Mm. Beck check, 1-2, one, 1-2. Two, one, two. Fuller up. Fuller up. Up and out. Pins are down. You got Fuller, Mob Fuller Nation it. are all up on strikes going to the fifth frame. Mm -hmm. Going into the eighth frame on scratch. Mob Nation doing exactly what they need to do. They're up by over 100, but more importantly, Bennett with the front seven. And, and again, chatting about this, I'll stop chatting about it if and when the streak ends. But keeping everybody posted, and the streak's not ending yet. Yep. Front eight going back to leads 19 and 20. Yeah, yeah. Benamino back on track. Right now. Um, Gino B definitely finding something. Well, Benamino oh, finally found conversion. something on leads 20. The question becomes can he find anything on lane 19? That is the question. But it is only them that can determine the answer. That's true. <laughs> and, and the ball, and the oil, and the pins. Yep, and only they can perform. Prevent any kind of potential forest fire. Yes. So Beset up for identity crisis. Beset, I think, is looking for something. I don't know exactly what he's looking for, but when he gets up there, a double keeps it at 37. Yeah. Okay. Very right, good. But, but, but right, you made it look Beset's good. doing Beset, <laughs> aka Joe Cray. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about Joker. He's got Joe Cray. Joe Cray. That's a French spelling. Joe Cray. Joe Cray. Joe Cray is not looking to, to parlay El Footsies. A double here keeps it at 37. Anything less than that, and Mop Nation's gonna could potentially start walking away with it, especially because they're all on strikes going into the fifth frame. Fall. He did not fall, and he did strike. So pins 37 fell. pins going into the fifth frame. Yeah. Going into the fifth frame, 
Question is, can Mop Nation start to pull away from identity crisis, or is identity crisis going to hold on? Mop, not only must not Mop Nation win, to get the wood, they must win by 128 pins, approximately. That's across the board? Oh, yeah, that's the total wood. It's 128 across the board. Mm. Oh, build back up. Back oh, up. Oh, next ball checks a little early. Yeah. Back up, check up. Is Oppie going to take advantage from Mop Nation Militia? Yes, he is. Turno for Oppie. And here goes Mop Nation. And this is exactly what Identity Crisis does not want to see, which is Mop Nation getting on on fire. And all of a sudden, that handicap, one bet pair, which is the only one that Identity Crisis is winning right now, can mm -hmm. they hold on? Even if they don't win the game, can they hold on to the wood? Obviously, if they win the game, that'll only help them. Mm. Let's see what Beck does on this pair. That's it. It's, it's definitely a, a makeable, yet yeah, missable. He makes a spare. Yep. Converts it. Handy right now, looking for five. Going up there on the approach. Let's see what happens over here. Handy, like you say. He definitely had a, he definitely found something. We spoke to him earlier. Let's see if what he found is still there. Yes, it's it still, is. Oh, claps oh, that one out. It. He clapped it out before he hit yes. the strike. Yeah. That's how confident he was. He clapped it out before the ball hit the pins. He damn sure did. Handy, who, by the way, shot a 132 game one, all of a sudden's got front five. Well, try, trying to stretch yourself out by a lot. Yeah, hey, Benavino you know, responds with a double. Again, they're trying to hold on. Identity Crisis is trying to hold on here. Well, he knew the strikes were, well, dare I say, coming handy, and they are. Ninth frame, I'm focusing on the scratch one second, because again, Bennett, front eight, going to the ninth frame. Their scratch is already up by 130. They're threatening to take the 128 all by themselves. Yeah. Yep. Meanwhile, Fuller with another double. That's six straight from Op Nation. That's right. And Bessa trying to respond. And ooh, no, seven pin. And we're looking over here right now. We have Tony Bennett up. Front nine could potentially be. And yes. front nine. Oh, couldn't look any finer. And yeah, we're, we're going to go, we're, we may be switching it over, yeah, we, over on, on lane 17 and 18 momentarily after yeah. we get to that point. Yeah. Could we, could we see the third 300 of the day? Could, yeah, yeah, he's already there. Scratch only. We could see the third 300 of the day. And we already saw it earlier from two house shot heroes, and we could get one Mop Nation tray. Meanwhile, uh, uh, Identity Crisis yeah. having a 128 pin lead. All of a sudden, is seeing that fritter away. Uh -huh. Having a 154 and a 130 in the A frame does not help you. No, it does not. So now it's really going to boil down to Identity Crisis middle pair. Can they hold on? Because Mob Nation's up by 41 on that second handicap pair, uh -huh. and they're up by many on the scratch pair. Mm hmm. And that open does not help them. Yeah. Mob Nation Militia is showing my, why Mob Nation Militia went to Battle Bowl last year. Yes, yes, indeed. Especially when you have your leadoff bowler leading the charge uh, on front nine going in there. Smith looking up. Doesn't make it. Seven pin goes up there. No. Trying to walk out their shots. Yeah, yeah. Punching, punching their fist before the strike comes. Yeah. It's a lo little bit of a New England swag coming in from Mob Nation. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and that does not that help Identity help at Crisis all. cause. No, it doesn't. That is the second straight frame where somebody on their team threw a pocket 710. Yeah. It was Sean Hagen in the A frame, and now it's uh, Shalfo in the ninth frame. Yeah, uh, looking for a potential 169 finish, assuming, well, assuming he strikes out after definitely um, hitting one pin. He's going to try to go for it all. But you have to at this and point. And... 
You got to respect you're, the you're not, you're not winning the game. You're not. You're not going to win the team wood. No. Nope. you got to collect the overall wood as far as down as you can. You cannot get blown out. You can't. That, that is exactly what Garden Foundation did to Murder, Inc. a number of years ago when well, they were down 200 and they won the scratch by over 200 and history may be repeating itself here. Well, we can add 100 to that 200 because we have potential 300 over here on lane 15. Here's Tony Bennett. Bennett going up. Let's see if Bennett is in it. Bennett is up on lane 15. Let's see what he does. What are you going to do? And First let's see what he's going to do. Oh! That's buried. Yeah, that was buried right buried. there. Bennett knew it. Bennett's in it. And Bennett meant it. By the way, just as a reminder, that is not the only Mop Nation Militia Bowler right now that can still go for a tray. Oh, my goodness. So we could see history repeat itself because we saw this already in the first tour stop. Yes, we where did. Where two bowlers on the same team shot 300. Can uh. we see history again? Well, nothing, nothing is better than when you see his, a good history repeated. And we want to see if we can get a repeat of the same score that we saw two times over earlier. Only difference is you're seeing a different jersey. Before it was a hero, now it's a nation. There you go, second shot here coming up from Bennett. That ball looks good. Oh. Lane carries it. Gymnastic-like as the head pin does a little cartwheel across the lanes in celebration of what could be 300 number three. And once again, 279 seems almost pedestrian. I know, right? How, it's bad, but 279, 279 seems very, mid. Very, seems very meh. Eh, 279, whatever. It's, it's crazy when 279 makes you look like a cruiserweight. Yeah, they talk about that in the World Championship Series. He shot 279. Yeah, well, come over here and watch the scores. Come over, come the, over here. We can bowl. We can bowl in the UBA. Oh, yes. I say UBA versus all. More of that later. More of that later. <laughs> Speaking of all, uh, in order to get that desired number, he must need all pins to fall. As Tony Bennett goes up right here. Final ball, frame 10, Good up the shot. lane. Let's see what happens. Walks right, walk it out, away, and he it. walked away. That, 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 he turns his back on it, and we have Trey Trey. We have Trey number Trey of the day. 300 by Tony Bennett, and that accentuates what Mop Nation Militia has done on the scratch pair today. They were down a total wood by 128 pins going into game three. Yep. They said, well, forget that. We're going yeah. we're gonna to take it all by ourselves. And now we're going to give Handicap some, some bonus pins to work with. So we have Backstrom, Morrissey, now Bennett. Now Bennett. <laughs> but, but here's the thing BMB. here. BMB. You look, there's a strike and a spirited two opens. They're already up by 105. Uh. They could theoretically be up by close to, if not over, 200. <laughs> Yeah, they could. So, and now the rest of the story is what's going to happen over here with the with the front six that's going on for another Mop Nation Militia member as we go back to lane 19 and 20. Spare me. Right now, I don't know if we are back over. It's going to. It's going 19 and 20 yet. Uh oh. There's a. A chance for a coach to add to it, he's not going to. He just set he set the center on fire. And when I mean center, I mean middle of the lane. Uh, let's see. It. Let's see if all these other strikes are going to continue to come in handy. Jim Handy as Jr. Handy Jr. Front six. Handy Jr. himself. It's looking to be handy. Slight adjustment of the feet right there by Bissett. Bissett is he all set? Yeah, he was set to strike there in frame seven. Trying to still say they're still here. Well, they are. I mean, right, right now, yes, they're going to have, a, they're going to have a little bit of cushion. But once again, it's going to come down to the handicap set. Mob Nation still down by around 13 on handicap pair number one. Handicap two, different story. Mob Nation with two strikes here will be up by over 100. Handy looking for a second. No. No. Just Strike number inside. seven did not happen. And that's a split. Identity crisis was pretty much had their backs against the wall. They can sort of kind of breathe, mm. but they need to get some smoke going in the eighth, ninth, and tenth frames. And more importantly, they need Mop Nation to stop carrying. Oh, uh, yeah, they definitely need, they need some. They need a lot more of those quarter pins or those opens. 
Yeah, they need O2, not CO2, if they're going to breathe. And they need to get that oxygen. And if you're not breathing that oxygen, then, then you, you might as well just walk out the door. Let's see if right now we can get all members of Identity Crisis to walk out the door with strikes to protect a lead that they definitely acquired earlier, uh, being game two. We are now in game three, and, well, we got to play big. You go big, you got to go home. And they don't want to go home with two L's. I was going to say, that they're definitely, we're all going home after this. No, yeah, we're all going home. You got to go home. Actually, not me. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to check out that Dr. Seuss Museum. Well, you know what? Well, let's, let's see what the story is here. Because, because right now, it's hop on mop. Well, well, they're definitely hopping on the mop, but if they're... Well, the mop right now is hopping on identity crisis. Yes, they are. Let's see if they're trying to mop them up. And first, right, first two games, it was hop on mop. Yeah, and right there, uh, got mopped up. Were the pins by one Opie? Yes, not Opie. Opie. Oh, <laughs> meanwhile, focus is going to be on that handicap two pair. All right. And that handicap two pair is a lot of hop on mop. Yes, it is. Let's see what Bill Beck up. Beck is up. Yeah, Beck playing a nice tight shot. Giving it there, taking out everything, blowing the rack out. Touch 256 finish for Bill Beck. Take a look in the middle here. Handy, had an open over there. Gets the ball out there and back on track. Covers that mistake that he made before. Handy would have been on, on front eight. Had a had a little malfunction in frame seven. Malfunctioning frame six. So now now here's the issue. I'm sorry, you're right. Malfunctioning frame seven. Now they're scratch one by 151 pins. Uh -huh. So remember, they were the identity crisis was up by 128. So minus 151. It is now mop up by 23. Mm, very tight. So what identity crisis does over here has got to be 23 pins better than what mop does over there. However, the mob right now is up by 127. Identity Crisis is starting to throw a bunch of daggers at him. We're going to see what happens. This is going to be a very close finish, maybe a lot closer than what you thought it was going to be. That open does not help. And all of a sudden, Identity Crisis is up 5-1 to one going into the ninth frame on Handicap 1. Handicap 2, they could be up 6-4. to four. Yeah, This have, one is not over yet. Yeah, we got a case of MSS, a must-strike right situation. situation. By the way, obviously, Mop Nation wins 10 zip on the scratch. Yes. By many. So that's a scratch sweeper. Big strike by Bissett coming up. And again, he was already having issues with coordination and the feet. He didn't want to fall. So not only does he have to deal with that, he's got to deal with the fact that just finding your footing isn't good enough. you got to throw strikes. you got to throw them. Somebody said something. All right, so we have Mr. Bassett up before he took a little spill, still made the spare. Let's see if he can um, stay up but knock the pins down. He stayed upright. And oh, so did the seven. Seven pin also stayed upright. So assuming that he makes a spare, that will be one more mark that is going to be that's going to be picked up by Identity Crisis. And again, they, the bigger problem for them is going to be that first handicap pair. And why do I say that, even though Identity Crisis is winning? Mm -hmm. They're winning, but they're not winning by enough. Yes. So they need a whole bunch of strikes to carry into that 10th frame to make, their, to make the other 10th frame relevant and meaningful at this point. Yeah, there's a difference between winning and winning by enough. And you've got to win by enough. And I don't understand why he just flagged the six pin, but six pin has been flagged. And again, when you're in that position, you cannot afford to open, and that's exactly what he just did. That's your boy, by the way. Well, well, well he, he just said um, that is a, um, <clears throat> a, a friendly plastic ball. And yes, plastic can still hook if you have hand, and especially when the outsides are, are, are pretty dry. But what's not dry is Bill Beck's shot, but... Um, the well ran dry on that strike. Yeah, exactly. Temping over there. 
Mob Nation looking to salt this one away. Oh, and that did not help. That did not help. Brian Opie strike with a double. Yeah, Opie strike. Now strikes. I know that you're not seeing the middle pair, but the, what, what Sean Knight's commenting about is that identity crisis is starting to open and is starting to give the game away. Mm. However, Mob Nation can finish this out on the right hand side, then it won't matter what's going on in the middle pair. Mathematical standpoint, Mop, can, Mop is now on the verge of, of shutting out Identity Crisis. Mm. Well, he tries to cover that, and very good attempt at that, but right now we're focused on Handy, who, oh, Handy right now kicking himself about that seventh frame. Yeah, I'm sure he likes to have that seventh frame oh, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. No gives these backsies? No gives these backsies. Oh, He's man. still finished with 265. Make it a UBA rule. Gives these backsies. And now Mop Nation with another strike here by Frank Fuller III could be up by over 100 pins. Mm. And this is the great thing about the UBA, the match can shift back and forth and back and forth. Yes. Beginning Mob Nation won two games, but Identity Crisis had the wood. I could Identity Crisis build up on that, but in the third game, all Mob Militia. And Fuller may add the exclamation point oh, to yeah, it, he yeah. does. Yeah, Fuller is filling it right now, potential 277 If finish. they all strike out, their low game on that pair will be a 258. Uh, mm. And if that happens, M &M's, they will win huh? that. Yeah, it's done. m ms went nuts. You know, I was saying before, there's no way they can get the wood. Maybe they can. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I will say there definitely is a way. And the way is the way. Here comes Bazette. Desperately oh. needs a strike. Doesn't get it. Ten pin. And that is the way things can go if your ten pins are not now, cooperating Mop, on your Mop first Nation shot. Mob Nation Militia was up 120. Mm. Now, what I said before, and I still say it, is that the wood is around 172 pins. Yes. Can they make up 50 pins in the fifth frame? And keep in mind, if they go out the door, they will make up at least 40 of that. They'll make up 40 of that. Because a double to a... Double to a spare, you pick up 20 pins if you go out the door at least, assuming that the person strikes out. All they assuming. got two of those scenarios. So now they need Identity Crisis uh -huh. to miss an extra 12 pins in order for that to happen. But again, that's also assuming that Mop goes out the door. And that's all. Ooh. Ooh. And gonna say, that's pump. also assuming that Bissette makes a spare. He does. It wasn't pretty, but he makes it. He definitely Tenth makes it. frame, can Mop Nation pick up another 50 pins and grab the wood? That is the question. I'll be right up right now, waiting on Beck. Beck goes first. There's a shot again. It's got to be a strike over here. Not only is it not a strike, it's a 6, 7, 10. And now all of a sudden, if Oppy goes out the door, Mop Nation will have the wood on their pair. Going in a, ooh, oh, 10 pin. Yeah, he, yeah, they have the wood going in a handy, but they will not. And he's got some work to do. Yeah, uh, Opie definitely wanted that. Uh, Absolutely did. Now Opie can pick up an extra 10 here if he makes a spare and if Beck opens. Well, Beck left uh, a very, um, a very, very tough split up there. Uh, that's Six, not going to be easy. Ten. He's got to give it a run. No, he does not. He well, gets well, one. Shout out to him for, for attempting that. It held on, but it didn't clip it the way he would have liked it. 2.20 finish for Bill Beck. Let's see if uh, Opie's feeling a little philanthropic. For Mop Nation's sake, he better not be. And he's not. He'll make the spare. All over that. Understood the, understood the assignment, handled the situation just fine. And the key is they need to make up 172 pence. They've got to make up 50. They also need, and that's a huge non-strike over by Identity Crisis. Yes, it is. They also need Benamino to not throw a strike, and he did not. OP closing out. 237. All 
over that spear right there. Uh, assuming he strikes, that'd be a 183 finish right there for Benamino. However, here's the big thing. As I said, the match number is 172. Mm. If he goes out the door, it is a 144. Mm. Closing in on the wood. Is that first shot going to have it on the wood? Does not, 10 pin. And it looks, oh! oh, no, it does not. That falls. Yeah! Handy with the strike. He has no idea what's going on. Hey, first you were early, now you're late. Yeah, <laughs> first he was early, now he's late. Well, well, the messenger came in what? Well, right on time, apparently. Well, it came in handy. Yeah, oh, it came in handy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, about the eight count. A 181 finish for, for Benamino. And again, all the extra pins count. They really know how to make splits out here. They do, that. well, that's in, why in Mob Nation Militia is Mob Nation Militia. And so now, 136, possibly 146. Mm. Now all of a sudden. Let's see what Handy can do right here. Looking for the Handyman, another strike. Got it. Yeah. That yeah. one was more buried. Now 140, again, if he goes out, 146, magic number is 172. He's got to pick up 26. If he goes, if Fuller goes out the door, Bissett's got to double. The only way Bissett, uh -huh. Bissett's got to double in order to shut him out. First yeah. ball here, it's got to be a strike it is. Oh, yeah, definitely. High, Big high, shot from Bissett. High drama situation. That's a nine count, maybe? Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. That was a awful, awful five count, and I will explain why. Huh. The match is 171. All of a sudden, he does not need to double. A strike. The best they can do is 171. The wood is 172. If my math is right, they're going to win the series by one. Wow. That is an awful time to throw a five count. You know what? Everybody loves bread. But, every pin um, counts. Every pin counts. Every pin counts. You know, and, and you know, you want to buy a whole loaf and you only get a half a loaf. That's got to hurt. Half a loaf in this case is not better than none. Yeah. Second ball here for the for the wood. He's got it. And you know, when the pins give us, the pins take it away sure because do. He, he he definitely got a, a beautiful situation by carrying that first one, but but getting that five count after that double, man oh man. So Mop Nation Militia will not get the overall wood on the third pair. Okay. So they will take two points. Okay. Identity Crisis will take eight. And right. it looks like, however, Identity, Identity Crisis will wind up winning. That's so they're going to take eight. You know what? You are almost right. If they won the wood, they would have taken 26. I, call, I called that. Yes, but you called it wrong because they didn't take the wood. So they have 16. They have 16. Mop Militia has 26. Oh. I'm sorry, 24. So at the end, your unofficial results in a very tightly contest contested match. Mop Nation Militia 24, Identity Crisis 16. Yeah. You know, looking forward to seeing these teams. Especially the playoffs coming up. Battle Bowl season coming up. Man, we can't wait to, to see everything that's going to happen, man. This has been a wonderful day of bowling. We called Identity Crisis twice. They lost first. They came back, and um, they, they fought back a lot better. But let's see what's going to happen in the future. And for, for Gordon Pepper for once, this is the voice of choice Sean Knight facing. And signing out, UBA all UBA day. UBA all day. All Good right. night, everybody. Good night.